A major plot point on the retreat was about the feud between two of the brides. We had Bronte and Melinda. They used to be friends from what we could see on TV, but now things are a bit tense because Melinda thought it was appropriate to tell Bronte that her husband Harrison had so many red flags. Melinda believed that Harrison was love bombing Bronte, gaslighting her, all of the key words there. And Melinda called Bronte naive, which she was not happy with. So then Bronte and Melinda's relationship has now suffered because of that confession. When in reality, Melinda was just trying to stick up for a friend and help her. How do we feel in a show like this, Married at First Sight, it's a relationship show. Where do the priorities lie between friendships and romantic relationships? What should you focus on? It is a romantic show, so I guess the goal is to find that relationship. But just like in the real world, you will have friends looking out for you and giving you advice. So if you've got those friendships within the experiment, I think you should listen to what they're saying. Um, because as far as I'm concerned from like watching the show, it doesn't necessarily seem, apart from maybe a few examples, like people are trying to tear down another person's relationship. Yeah. Mm. They're actually genuinely trying to help. And especially with the Bronte and Melinda situation, I think us as viewers can look at the Bronte and Harris's relationship and we're like, what is going on? I'm like, sorry, yeah. it looks what is so happening? fake. They look like they're acting when they're on the couch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And badly. Yes. That's how you can tell. <laughs> Nothing and Harrison says seems genuine. Genuine. No. Exactly. Oh. And I think from I think. when um, Bronte and Harrison were on the couch and a few weeks ago mm. and he said, oh, it was so nice now that Bronte's apologised, mm -hmm. we're getting along. And oh. again, we haven't seen everything, but as a viewer, you're like, what did she have to apologize for mm, when it yeah. seemed like it was the other way around last week? And she was fully going along with it and agreeing. So I can totally see why the cast members would be concerned yes. because they're like, what kind of like brainwash is Absolutely. happening here? Yeah. She just flicked a switch basically. Like she was fully like against him and being like, no, I see right through you. And then yeah, that um, commitment ceremony, all of a sudden it seemed like she was like, it was her fault and she was taking the blame. Yeah. Like, I get that it is a romantic show, but at the same time, you are right. Like, your friends would be looking out for you. But I sometimes find it difficult on maths when you are paired with someone. I understand you have to work through it and, like, there's a reason you've been paired with them, whatever. But sometimes I feel like either side of the couple are really just, they're so focused on making it work and, like, getting to the mm. end that maybe they're, like, letting other things, they're not seeing everything that's going on. And yeah. I feel like that... For some reason, Bronte's just so like, I must have this relationship with Harrison. Like, I trust him. Okay, he's handsome. Other girls are going to like, you know, get asked for his number. Like, she's yeah. just letting all these things go, maybe for the sake just to like make their relationship yeah. work. Or like, <coughs> and I hate to say it, but is it just to stay on the show? That's what exactly. I mean. Yeah. Like, yeah. They, we heard about Dan and Sandy's, you know, like mm. um, agreement. agreement. Bronte and Harrison surely have yeah. an agreement. The way that they talk, oh yeah, now we're having hot, crazy monkey sex. Whatever. Oh, I'm I like, yeah. I'm like, why are you saying that? Yeah. yeah. It just seems so fake. I would not be surprised if they just don't even talk to each other when they're together. And they're just on the walls like, yeah. <laughs> 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 so we got to make Ollie think yeah. that we're doing it. Oh Ollie's God. there just like... <laughs> I feel like I might have missed something. What was this agreement? Dan has alleged that he and Sandy had an agreement that they knew that they weren't each other's person. Right. And they just decided to stay in the show, you know, just... And as friends. That's why he would leave the apartment for six hours a day. Because yeah. he thought they're not working on their relationship. They're just living together, basically. They're just sure. roommates. Right. It definitely feels like that's what Bronte and Harrison have done since the beginning. Oh, yes. Melinda and Bronte, if they disagree on Harrison's behaviour, Bronte now doesn't like Melinda. Melinda obviously doesn't like Bronte for the way she sticks up for Harrison. Is there a way that they can kind of come back together if, hypothetically, Harrison and Bronte don't work out? If they don't work out, sure. I'm sure there's a way for Bronte and Melinda to be mm. friends again. Melinda was only looking out for Bronte and Bronte was only looking out for Melinda. Mm. I think they're just both really strong personalities and they both quite like, I don't really like using this term, but like alpha yes. sort of energy. And mm. I feel like that's really easy to like butt heads when also, you're like that. Can we just also imagine you're only seeing like 10 people for like how many weeks? Mm. You're only seeing those people. And if you don't like them and you're constantly being put, like in real life, you would just not go to I would not go to party. a retreat or a yeah. dinner party. You're like, I don't want to go because <laughs> they're there. there. Like, you're obviously going to butt heads with people if, if that's the case. So maybe time apart would be really good for Melinda and Bronte. Maybe they yes. need a retreat from the retreat. 
Yeah. Smart. Solo yeah. retreats. So Honeymoon. So Again, yeah. <laughs> oh honeymoon, but on your own. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's so such a vibe. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, I feel like I would just be like, "Can I be by myself for a little bit?" Yes. I yeah. Know. Like, I kind of understand that aspect of dance. Of dance. Life. <laughs> yeah, getting out. You're like, I just need to leave for six hours. Don't ask where I am. <laughs> yes. I wouldn't be at the gym, but like, <laughs> no, I just need some. Time. Like, just like, or I'd be like, "Can you leave for six hours mm. so I can stay at home and pay, play Animal Crossing?" Yeah, yeah. I just Fair want enough. my own apartment yeah. for like vibes. Oh my god, I know.